Morning. Good morning. If you have your Bibles, we'd ask you to turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 6. 1 Corinthians chapter 6. Again, another beautiful day that God gave us. And time to be in this house. Amen. As always, we hope you've already prayed. But if you find your place, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, and we want to start reading in the ninth verse. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, starting at verse 9. Scripture says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor adulterers, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, yeah, right. but ye are washed, but yes. ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. Amen. Uh, we'd ask you if you would to bow your heads. Uh, Father, once again, we thank you for another day. We thank you for your precious word. And Lord, once again, I ask that you take Doug out of the way, put the words in our mouth that need said. And Father, if there be a need of burden, Lord, we pray that you would have cut to the heart today, Father, yes. and Lord, that you would uh, give them strength and courage, Father, to come. Father, again, we thank you, we praise you, and we ask these things in Christ's name, and amen. 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 Bless him, Lord. Bless him. Don't let yourself be tricked. That's right. Don't let yourself be tricked. He says in that ninth verse, be not deceived. Right. Uh, folks, I realize tomorrow is Halloween, mm -hmm. and it's trick or treat. And uh, there are a lot of people, Harley, that they uh, believe in this health and wealth gospel, mm -hmm. okay, that everything's just treats. Mm -hmm. But, folks, there's a lot of tricks going on. Yes, I mean. And those tricks are from the devil. Yes. Okay. He says, uh, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? <laughs> Be not deceived. And then he lists the, the things, the works of unrighteousness there. Mm -hmm. Folks, don't let yourself be tricked. Right. Okay? And the first way that the, the, the devil can trick you is to convince you that there's nothing wrong. That's right. That there's nothing wrong. Okay? Yeah. Proverbs 21.2 he says, every way of a man is right in his own eyes. Right. But the Lord pondereth the heart. Yes. Okay. Folks, listen. There are those that will look and say, you know what? I'm not bad. Mm -hmm. I'm not a drunk. I don't yeah. beat my wife. Yeah. I don't mistreat my children. I don't steal. I don't do this. I don't do that. But folks, it's not those things that you don't do, Joe. It's yes. the thing that you're not doing. Yes. Amen. I don't believe. Yes. Amen. I don't trust in Christ. Yes. Folks, that is what will send you to hell. Right. All these other things are just byproducts yes, of that. Yes, that's right. Okay? But that there's nothing wrong. That That's the devil's first trick is that, you know what, there's nothing wrong. But, folks, you've got to admit that there's a problem. Yes. You have to admit that there's a problem. Uh, 1 John chapter 1, or around verse 8, says that if we... Uh, Say we have not, if we if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. Yes. And the truth is not in us. Right. That's right. Okay. Uh, Romans three twenty three. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Amen. Folks, listen. I don't care whether you were raised in church. Yes. I don't care whether today's your first day in church. Right. Listen. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Amen. And all need a savior. Amen. And here's the good part to that. Well, yeah, you, you said we've all sinned, okay? But that ninth verse says, if we confess our sins, yeah. he is faithful and just yes. to forgive yes. us our sins Amen. and to cleanse us from all, all. unrighteousness. All, yes. 
I don't know what you can't forgive down here. Mm -hmm. But Sandy, God can forgive everything. That's right. Except rejecting him. Yes. Except rejecting his son. That is the only thing that he can't forgive. Mm -hmm. He says if we if we say that we have not sinned, mm -hmm. his word is not in us. Right. Folks, listen, you've got to admit that there's a problem. Amen. You've got to admit that we've sinned and that something has to be done about it. Okay? And the devil has tricked people into believing that, you know what, there's nothing wrong. Yeah, yeah. Folks, there is something wrong, okay? Yes, that's right. The next thing that the devil does to trick us is he says that, you know what, sin's not going to hurt you. Mm -hmm. Folks, pray. We're having problems with contact. Well, that's all right. Help him. Help him. This must be a good message, okay? He wouldn't <laughs> be fighting that hard if it wasn't. Amen. Okay? Amen. Bless him, Lord. But sin's not going to hurt you. Mm -hmm. Folks, sin is always going to hurt you, yes. okay? Yes. The book of Genesis, chapter 3. You recall that the serpent came unto Eve and he said, uh, has God not said that you can eat every tree, of, of the fruit of every tree of the garden? Okay. And folks, here's the problem. When you start talking with the devil, mm -hmm. yes, he is going to twist you. Yes. He is going to uh, confuse you because you know the first thing that Eve says? He says, well, yeah, we can eat of every tree, but the one that's in the midst of the garden, but we not only can't eat of it, we can't touch it mm -hmm. or else we'll die. Okay, Sandy, he had never, God had never said that. <laughs> but Eve had added to God's word. Folks, listen, don't take away from this. Right. Don't add to it. What right. it says right. is what it says. Amen. Okay, he means what Amen. he says. He says, listen, you can eat out of all the other trees, but this one tree, do not touch or do not eat of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, but she says, listen, if we touch it, we'll die. And you know, the first thing that uh, the serpent said to her, oh, you'll surely not die. Mm -hmm. You'll surely not die. You can't be hurt. He just don't want you to become like him. You'll be like God's then. You'll have your, yourself enlightened, okay? Folks, listen. Sin is going to hurt you. Yes. Romans 6, 23. For the wages of sin yes. is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Folks, when Adam and Eve partook of that fruit, they died. Yeah, yeah. Now, not physically, Harley, right. but spiritually, they died. Yeah. Okay? Folks, sin is going to cause you to die spiritually. Yes, that's right. And it's going to hurt you, okay? You can live for many years after that. Mm -hmm. If you've been coming and uh, following Bill during the lessons, you're going to see, mm -hmm. Bill, in spite of uh, Saul's sin, he lives for many years after this. He does. He lives for many years. Folks, there are people that are living with sin, that have lived with sin for years and years, yeah. Harley. Yeah. And they've just got used to it. Yeah. Oh, well, that won't hurt me. Mm -hmm. There's no difference between today and tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Folks, listen. Sin will hurt you. Yes. Sin is going to cost you. Okay? All right. Now we're going to make you mad. Okay. Bless him over. Folks, those that have been tricked have become fools. Yes. Those that have been tricked have become fools. And I, my grandma used to always say, listen, call no man fool. No. All right. Mm -hmm. And I agree with that. That's what the scripture says. Okay. Mm -hmm. But there are two places, Harley, yeah. that he tells us yeah. that a man has become a fool. Right. Okay. Yeah. Psalms 14 1 mm -hmm. says, The fool has said in his heart, yeah. There is no God. That's right. Folks, listen, if you don't believe that there's someone that's going to hold you accountable, mm -hmm. you've become a fool. That's right. Okay? He says, they are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. Mm -hmm. And he repeats that yeah. in Psalms 53, verse right. 1. Okay? Folks, pray harder. That's all right. I can still preach even if I can't there see. There you go. Amen. Okay? But the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. There are people that have tricked themselves into believing, you know what? I'll just close my eyes, Sandy, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Folks, when you close your eyes in this world, you're going to open them in one of two others. That's right. that's right. And it's heaven or it's hell. That's right. Okay? I got news for you. You're not coming back to this world. Mm -mm. No, no. Meryl Streep and some of these yeah. other people that have been right. uh, 
reincarnated, reincarnated yeah. however many times. Yeah. Uh, not Meryl Streep. Shirley sure McLean. McLean, okay. yes. Yes. Y'all got to pray. We got to keep <laughs> Noah in the ark and Moses in the wilderness. Yeah. All right. But folks, there are people that believe they they've lived this life and yeah. come back however many times. If that was true, then why didn't you get it right the first time? Mm -hmm. yeah. Why didn't you get it right the first time? Back then, that's why we make people mad. We say, "I'm Baptist. I did this right the first time." Why would I want to do that? <laughs> Bless him, Lord. Now you all laugh. That makes some people mad, folks. Why do you not want to do it right the first time? But they've become fools. Yes. That you know what? I'm not going to be held accountable for anything. But he, he says here in this sixth chapter, mm -hmm. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Right, right. Listen, folks, it's not the mean old preacher that's mm -hmm. keeping you out of heaven. No, no. It's not the mean old church that's keeping you that's out of right. heaven. Yeah. It's not God's word that's keeping you out of heaven. Right. It's you that's, that's keeping right. you out of heaven. Amen. Amen. Be not deceived. Don't be tricked, okay? Uh, Luke chapter 12, and we reference this all the time, right? The, the rich fool. Yes. Okay? He had had it well down here. Yes. His uh, grounds had fared sumptuously, okay? Yes. Plentifully. Yes. Didn't have room to, to, to store all his fruits, and he says, well, I'll tear them down, Rick, and build bigger. And then I'll tell my soul, take thy knees, eat, drink, and be merry. Yeah. And it said, and God said unto him, thou fool. Oh, that's right. This night. Yes. This night thy soul shall be required of thee. Listen, folks. It doesn't matter what plans you have. It don't matter what your intentions are. If you die, then guess what? Today. Yeah. Today, your soul will be required of you. Right, right. And guess what? Mom and dad ain't going to... Mm -hmm. Sandy, they, they can't do anything for you. Right. Your brothers and sisters can't do anything for you. The preacher can't do anything for you. That's right. He says, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. And then who shall those things be that thou hast yeah. provided? Right. But folks, don't be tricked. Mm -hmm. Don't be tricked. And here's the biggest the biggest problem today. Okay. The biggest trick that Satan pulls, okay. When you get out of God's house, you're going to become weak. Mm -hmm. When you get out of God's house, you are going to become weak. Okay? Well, preacher, I don't got to come to church. Well, no, you don't have to. It's a free choice. I don't got to come. Bill, I could just put this on tape and just uh, email or text it to you all every day. How would you all like that if the preacher wouldn't come to church? Now you know how I feel. Bless him, Lord. Bless him. Amen or out. Yes, amen. That's amen right. or out, that's right. right. But listen, folks, when you get away from God's house, you're going to become weak. You're going to become weak. Uh, Mark chapter 4, around verse 18, says, These are they that are sown among thorns, mm -hmm. yes. that hear the word, yes. And then listen to what he says here. And the cares of this world yes. and the deceitfulness of riches and the lust of other things yeah. come and choke the word right. that it becomes unfruitful. Mm -hmm. Listen, folks, when you get away from God's house, when you get away from God's word, when your mind is filled with all these other things that have to be done mm -hmm. or that want to be done, mm -hmm. then you know what? The word becomes unfruitful. Yes. The word becomes unfruitful. Folks, you can't be out of God's house and be a strong Christian. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay? Don't deceive yourself. Bless him. Okay? Him. Hebrews 3.13. Mm -hmm. Paul says, Exhort one another daily while it is called the day. Yes. Lest ye be hardened through the deceitfulness yes. of sin. Okay, exhort one another daily while it's called day, lest ye be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. I don't care who your family doctor is, okay? I can guarantee you that one of the things they'll tell you is, you know what, you need to get moving. You need to get moving. You need to walk. You need to do something, Luke. Whatever it is, you know why? Because when you become 
accustomed to being at rest, those arteries start to harden. That heart starts to weaken. And folks, it's the same way with God. Listen, when you get away from God's house, when you get away from his people, the heart starts to harden. It starts to harden. And listen, the longer that you are out of God's house, guess what? The harder it is to come back. True, true. The harder it is to come back. Yeah. Oh, now, Doug, listen, I could just come back tomorrow. Well, why don't you? Mm -hmm. If that's your logic, Carla, then right, prove Doug wrong. If you can come back tomorrow, then I'll see you next week, right? Well, it ain't that easy. Well, I got this, I got that, I... Uh, Whatever excuse you want to plug in. Folks, listen. The longer you're away from God, mm -hmm. your yes. heart starts to harden. True. Okay? True. Your heart starts to harden. And he tells us, Hebrews 10, 25, forsaking not the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, yes. but exhorting one another, and so much the more as yes. you see the day approaching. Yes. Amen. Folks, listen, if you don't see the need to be in God's yes. house right. with each passing day, yeah. wake up. Yes, amen. Wake up. Every book that Paul wrote in the New Testament, you know what he says in there? Go to church. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, maybe not those particular words, right. Joe, but in every epistle that Paul writes, right. that's what he says, go to church. Why? Because Paul knew the longer you stay out of church, the longer you stay away from God's house, the longer you stay away from God's people, it's going to harden your heart. And it's going to get harder to come back. And when you get in that place, then there, there's the next trick that the devil plays. Listen, you can't go back. What will they think of you? What will they think of you? There's somebody that, that, that goes here, and I won't embarrass them by saying their name, but there was a time that they got out of church for a while. And I would see them at the store, and we would talk, and I'd say, you know, it'd be nice to see you back at church. Listen, we didn't condemn them. Right. We didn't right. say, you're going to hell, you know. Right. <laughs> you better wake up. But just said, you know, I'd like to see you back in church. And folks, it wasn't like that the first time that they 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 listened. Mm -hmm. Listen, if you all would listen to Doug the first time, I'm going to bring you home and have you talk to Peggy, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but Mike, it wasn't like that. But you know what? I didn't condemn them. Right, right. I just said, listen, yeah. come home. And over the course of a couple of years, okay, you know what? They finally come home. And they're here and they're faithful. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now I'm going to have all of you going back home saying, yeah. is he talking about me? <laughs> <laughs> but folks, I'm thankful. You know why, yes. Harley? Because they, they woke up. Yes. They didn't fall for the devil's tricks. Yes. But that's the problem. You go back to Luke 15. Okay, the prodigal son. Yeah. Yes. The devil had so tricked him, had so fooled him. Yep. But it said that one day he came to himself. That's right. He woke up. Amen. He said, you know what? I'll go back to Father's house and I'll say, listen, I'm not worthy to be called your son. Just make me as one of the hired servants. Right. I've sinned against you and against heaven. Yes. And you know what happened when he come back? The father ran out to meet him. That's right. That's threw right. his arms around him, hugged him, kissed him. Yes. Said, put, him on, put on him a, a new robe and a ring and yes. kill the fatted calf. Yes. For my son that was lost right. is found. Amen. Folks, that's one of the devil's tricks. You know what? They're going to condemn you. Yeah. They're going to look at you different. Mm -hmm. The father didn't look at him different. Right. Folks, nobody's going to look at you different. Mm -hmm. The only condemnation is when you're in the pig pen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Amen. When he was in the pig pen, well, I don't deserve this. Well... I'm glad you finally woke up. Yeah, yeah. But guess what? You can climb out of the pig pen. That's right. Amen. Folks, there's no condemnation up here. The only condemnation is in the sea. Because mm -hmm. when you come, just like the prodigal, guess what? There'll be people that'll come and pray with Amen. you. Amen. That's right. There'll be people that'll come and help you. Yes. 
But don't let yourself be tricked. Don't say, listen, I, I can't come back. That's one of the devil's tricks. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because you know what? I, I can't come back. And folks, here's the thing. You can fool yourself, but you can't fool God. Nope. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I already been building, collaborate again. Okay, but I'm glad that he primed the pump this morning. Amen. Listen, folks, you can fool yourself, but you yes. can't fool God. No, you can't. James chapter 1, around verse 22, somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. He says, but be ye a doer of the word and yes. not a hearer only. Right, right. Deceiving yourselves. Right. For he that is a, a, a hearer of the word and not a doer is like right. a man that beholdeth his natural face in a glass. Right. And after he beholdeth himself, yeah. he goeth his way and straightway forget yeah. what manner of man he was. That's right. Folks, there are people that are fooling themselves today mm -hmm. about their condition. Listen, when we look in the mirror, okay, I know you all see Tom Selleck, okay? <laughs> I see an older, not old, but older, fat man. Okay. Doug, how could you say that? Where Mary Kay is, I thank you, Mary Kay. You keep me grounded, right? <laughs> Listen, Joe, the, there's no lying when we look in the mirror. That's right. That's We're exactly a fat right. man. Listen, Bless when you him. look in the mirror, you may be an old man. You may yes. be a baldy man. You may yes. be a, a gray-headed woman. Okay, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Because you know what? The mirror doesn't lie. That's right. That's right. Folks, friends lie. <laughs> family lies the mirror doesn't lie it shows exactly what state you are right. and folks this is the mirror yes, it is. that shows us exactly what we are Yes. okay everybody else can look and say oh he's a good boy he's a good girl she's a good man or she's a good woman he's a good man but folks listen this is the mirror that when you look at it shows you the condition that you're in right? Right. and there are people Harley that they've stopped looking in the mirror. Yeah, true. They've stopped looking in this mirror. True. Now, Bill, they will go to work, and I can guarantee you some of them probably spend a half hour in the morning mm -hmm. making sure everything's straight, yeah. making sure everything's maxing, making sure everything's perfect mm -hmm. for yeah. other people. Right. Folks, if you put that much effort into what the other people think, why don't you put that much effort into what God thinks? Yeah, true. Amen. Amen. People stop looking in the mirror because mm -hmm. they don't want to be told the truth. Yeah. Folks, listen. Don't be tricked. You've got to look in the mirror. You've got to look in the mirror. Okay, Galatians 6, 7. It says, Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Right. For whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to the flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, and he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit Reap life everlasting. So listen, don't be tricked, folks. Whatever you sow, you're going to reap. Okay? Listen, if you spend your time drinking, partying, lying, stealing, cheating, whoring around, okay? Folks, why would you possibly think that that's going to lead to something good? Yeah, right, right. That's right. Listen, folks, you all ain't dumb. <laughs> Other people ain't dumb. How can you do these things and expect that God's going to be pleased? Right. Be not deceived. God's not mocked. Right. Listen, you can mock the preacher. I pulled one over on Doug. Mm -hmm. Folks, here's the sad thing. You can pull one over on Doug, and you know what, Mike? I'm never going to think about it in heaven. Mm -hmm. True. Never going to enter my mind, but you know what? There's people that's going to be in hell mm -hmm. that they're going to have to hear Doug's words mm -hmm. over and that's over true. and over. People that heard Hubert for that's years right. and years over and over and over. Yep. Folks, be not deceived. God's right. not mocked. That's you're right. not pulling one over on no. God. Uh -uh. What you sow is what you're going to reap. That's right. Amen. And if you sow to the flesh, then that's yeah. what you're going to reap. Right. But he says if you sow to the Spirit, you'll reap for life everlasting. Amen. And again, you know, the devil not only tricks those that are lost, he, he pulls tricks on the saved. True, true. 
true. Okay. Amen. That next verse says, and let us not be weary in well-doing, right. for in due season we shall reap yes. if we faint not. Amen. There are Christians, Mike, that they've just gave up. Yeah. Well, I just don't see the use. Yeah, there is. My loved ones, uh, are, they're never going to come in. They're never going to change. What's the point? That's what he says. Let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Yes. Listen, if you're willing to quit, then why should God <laughs> keep going? If you're willing to just stop and quit, why should God keep going? Right, right. But folks, that's that's the devil's tricks. Yes. Let us not be weary in well doing. You know, there are all kinds of places that they have all different kinds of programs to draw people in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Doug, you're talking about other churches. I'm talking about what they've done, Bill, mm -hmm. to get people in the yeah. seats. Listen, folks, we can build a gym. Yeah. What's the point? You can uh, build a kitchen and serve meals every Sunday. What's the point? Sandy, there are, there are places, and I'm not condemning them, okay? I'm condemning the process, yeah. okay? Where they have programs where, you know what, all these kids can come and they can learn how to, to shoot a bow. Mm -hmm. yeah. Folks, I hate to tell you, but we're not going to practice archery out here. <laughs> but you know what we're going to do? Yeah. Mike, we're going to teach you how to put on the whole armor of God. Amen. Because that's what's going to Amen. keep you. That's right. Dribbling a basketball, shooting a bow and arrow, having dinner. Mm -hmm. Folks, that, that's useless. Mm -hmm. But there are people, there are churches that the devil has just tricked them into thinking, you know what? Do whatever you can to draw them in. He says, let us not be weary in well-doing. Amen. Folks, you know what's going to get people in? Prayer. Yes. You know what's going to get people in? A faithful witness. Yes. Yes. Listen, if they only see you at church once every three months, why would they want to come? True. True. Amen. Folks, we try to make this as simple yeah. as we can. That's right. That's right. But listen, if you don't want to come to church every once in a while, why would you expect your friends and loved ones to want to come? But don't be tricked. Bless him, Lord. Don't be tricked. And folks, listen, don't be fooled that thinking that just because I say I love Jesus mm -hmm. that you're going to heaven. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's another one of the devil's tricks. Yeah. Matthew 7, 21. Mm -hmm. He says, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Yeah. For many, yeah. for many in that day will say, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Right. And in thy name uh, cast out devils, and thy name done many wonderful works. Then I will say unto them, I never knew you. That's right. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Listen, folks, don't trick yourselves. Just because you say I love God doesn't mean you're right. That's right. Amen. Folks, profession without possession yeah, yeah. Amen. doesn't do anything. Amen. There's got to be something in here. Right. Sandy. There's got to be something in here for me to say, you know what? I'm a child of the king. Amen. Amen. I'm one of the redeemed. Yes. Yes. But folks, just saying I love Jesus, that doesn't yeah. do it. Right. That doesn't do it. And Bill brought this out. You know what? And he's going to continue to bring this out if he keeps going through uh, Samuel. <laughs> Listen, there come a point when God said, you know what? I'm done. Yeah. That he wouldn't listen to Samuel anymore. Mm -hmm. Folks, you are on dangerous ground if you've got to the point that God says, I'm done. Yeah. And again, he lived many years after that, yes, Bill. That's right. But here's the problem, Psalm 66, 18. If I regard iniquity yeah. in my heart, right. the Lord will not hear me. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's what it says. Now, your friends might hear you. Right. 
Your family might hear you, but folks, listen. If you regard iniquity in your heart, yeah. God says, I don't hear you. Yeah. And that's the problem, folks. That there. Again, this shows how old we are, Harley, you know. We used to talk about people shacking up, mm -hmm. living in sin. Folks, it's not just living in sin. People are living with sin now, right. Sandy. Right. That they don't even think about. Right. They don't even think about. It. Regardless of whether it's uh, adultery or fornication or drinking or whatever. We have got to a state where people are just comfortable living with sin. And folks, listen, if you're comfortable living with sin, you're being tricked. Bless him, Lord. You know why? Because of what we just read. Mm -hmm. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves of mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. Folks, you can't live like the devil and expect to get to heaven. But That's understand, right. okay, I get it. We're not perfect. That's right. You're going to fail again. Yeah. You're going to sin. That's right. Okay. That's right. Yeah. Now, wait a minute, Doug. I didn't do any of those things that, that you mentioned. Okay, well, Bill, we'll, we'll hammer it home again. Yeah, yeah. James 4, 17. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He that knoweth to do good yes. and doeth it not to him, yeah. it is sin. Amen. So, folks, all these people that you love, and want them to, to go to heaven with you when they just sit at home and they say, I know I ought to be in church. That's sin. That's right. Folks, him that knows to do good. Yeah. I know that I ought to accept Christ. Then guess what? Mm -hmm. You better do it. That's right. Because if you don't, it's sin. Yes. And it's not that Doug's not going to listen to you. It's not that the church is not going to listen to you. But if I regard iniquity in my heart. That's right. The Lord will not hear me. Amen. Amen. But folks, here's the good thing. He says in that 11th verse, and such were some of you. Mm -hmm. Yes. And such were some. Listen, all of sin that comes short of the glory of God. Amen. We all start out the same way, but Joe, here's the thing. Yeah. you got to make a choice. Amen. Whether you want to be in the family of God. Right, right. He says, and such were some of you, yes. but ye are washed. Amen. But ye are sanctified, Amen. but ye are justified in the Amen. name of the Lord Jesus and in the spirit of our God. Amen. What does that mean? That means that, folks, regardless of what you've done, yes. Christ can cleanse every spot. That's right. Oh. Cleanse every spot. Not just cover it. says, yes. listen, I'll wash it. That's right. Amen. I'll remove it. Yes. But, folks, don't let yourself be tricked to that. Don't let yourself be tricked to that. As Danny comes and gets us a song. Listen. Satan's fighting hard right now. Yes. He's yes. fighting hard right now to trick people and say, you know what? You don't want to come up there. Mm -hmm. Everybody will be looking at you. Everybody will be wondering what you've done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what he's saying. Folks, don't let yourself be tricked today. Yes. If you have a need, if you have a burden, if you want to pray today, come. Yes. So as he gets a song, if everybody's staying. <laughs> Do I know? Kneel at the cross. Christ will meet you there. Come while he waits for you. List to his voice. Leave within your care. And begin life anew. Kneel at the cross. Leave every 
service tonight at 6 o'clock, so come back. As we always say, we all get tired of me saying this, right? <laughs> if it's the same message, you all didn't listen or I didn't do it right, listen. so That's all. come back. It might be better the second time. There you go. You all like leftovers, right? You all don't just throw all that Thanksgiving dinner away after you haven't ate everything. That's right. That's right. 6 o'clock tonight, everybody come back. Again, today's the last day that we're collecting for the uh, shoebox gifts for Samaritan's Purse. So if you brought anything, uh, just put it in the room up here. Or the can in the back, if you just want to make a donation, uh, we got some elves that will go shopping this week to, to get that stuff. So appreciate everything everybody's already brought. <coughs> but, uh, again, uh, we live in a country where we're so blessed. We are. You may not think... Uh, Mike, just a, a little rag doll or a, yeah. a notebook and some crayons or whatever. But folks, that there, there's children in the world that yes, that would mean the world to them. Amen. So we appreciate everybody that's contributed. Uh, Harley, before I forget, Bible book for November will be Joshua. Okay, those of you that are following along doing that, book of Joshua in the month of November. Uh, other thing, we'll be starting practice for the adult Christmas play this Thursday at 6.30. So all of you that have said that you're willing, come out. If you haven't said you're willing, I know where you live. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, we need some help too, so please pray. Consider doing that. Okay, you can look and say, I, I've never did that before. That's all right. Mm -hmm. That's all right. You know, Peter never preached before, Joe. Yeah. He spent his whole life on a boat. Yeah. But Christ said, I'll make you fishers of men. Yeah. If he can make Peter a fisher of men, he can make you a, a part in the play. Yeah. Right. Okay. Amen. Amen. If you say, well, I want to be asked, folks, try. I'm asking, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I'm asking. If, if you say, well, I want to be personally asked, then you come tell me, and I will personally come and ask you. <laughs> but, folks, be in prayer. Yeah. Be in prayer for Okay, I think that's it on my end. Bill, you want to? Yeah. Uh, Lord's will. I mean, uh, he may take us all home. Come next Sunday, immediately after this service. I always want to say Sunday school. I'm still in the tradition of men, okay? But that's all right. Uh, we will have our pastor recall vote uh, immediately following the service. Uh, that'll be done by uh, paper ballot. And the criteria to vote must be a Christian must be faithful in attendance for six months, and the third one must be 16 years of age or older. I don't think we've misstated any of that. I'll look to my wife and look to Cheryl and see if they concur, okay? Um, then also, for those of you whom either may know today or, or it should come up that you can't be here and you'd like to cast a vote, we do have absentee ballots for you to vote privately upon, which we will put in a folder, and they're behind lock and key, and we will count them then along with the votes next Sunday, not until then. To get that absentee ballot, please come see a business committee member, which I'm one, okay? Raise your hand, Danny. Danny is one. Mike Miller is one. Raise your hand so they know who Mike Miller is. Jonathan is one. Raise your hand, Jonathan. And then Jacob, he's not here. 
Jacob plays the piano for you in case uh, y'all don't know who he is. So come and see us. Doug's a part of the committee, but I get uh, he's got a vested. He might cheat, okay? He might cheat. <laughs> but anyway, come and see one of us, and we'll get an absentee, absentee ballot to you. Uh, the second thing, which will be next Monday, a week from this Monday, tomorrow, will be our semi-annual business meeting, okay? And again, there's always things that need to be discussed, uh, you know, uh, at least a couple times a year. And uh, so we will have that uh, next Monday as well. Have we misstated anything, Mom, <coughs> Cheryl, I'll look to you. Everything sound good? There we go. I'm done. I'm done. And folks, I do ask you to pray yes. about that. That is uh, the most important thing that you can do. Right. Okay. Don't show up and say, listen, I've known Doug for however many years. Okay. Don't show up and say, well, I like Doug. Don't show up and say, well, it can't get any better, so we'll just deal with what we got. Pray. Yes, amen. Pray. Serious. So there are so many churches that they don't even regard what God's yeah. Word says yes. about a pastor. Yeah. Yeah. Folks, it's a serious thing. Yes, it is. It's a serious thing on this side. It's a serious thing on that side. And I, I hope you pray. All right. Any other announcements? I'd like to see the business committee uh, meet with Vaughn Church. Again, uh, come back tonight if you can, 6 o'clock. All right. If nothing else, uh, Danny, dismiss. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to the close of another service this morning, Lord. We thank you for all your word this morning. Yes. And yes. preached and taught and everything. Yes. Thank you for the songs, Jesus. testimonies, yes. Lord. Each and everything that God's given to us to yes. Lord. We ask that you would just give us traveling mercies yes. each one of us to our uh, appointed place of abode, Lord. Yes. And we ask that you bring us back next point in time. We pray that you ask it all. Amen. 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 Amen.